when we're looking at you know what can we do about this mess you know what are our potential solutions i really think democracy more democracy real democracy has to be um a real part of that and that gets into kind of the next point potentially here is that one of the things that that people will say is that um you know how can we have democracy if we can't trust our elections and that's certainly a fair point and so that really has to be one of our key demands in that we need you know elections that that we can rely on and if we're not getting them it's another one of those things that that we should be protesting over that we should be getting in in the streets over but we have to be clear about what that means you know we have to be smart about what what are we asking for what are we um what are we demanding and you know this is this the this can be one place where i think i i can differ i may differ somewhat with some other of my lefty friends in that one of the ways of one of the things for election reform that's put out there a lot is to do it on paper you have paper ballots and i you know you, you can do that to some extent for some of your election processes in in smaller scale elections but once you get into um, larger cities once you get into the processing of results the paper ballots don't really get you there. It's e even even if you're doing it all on paper, you're still gonna you're still gonna have machine counting. It, it's still okay. it's got to get into a computer sometime. Yeah, put it that way. Like when when, when I go Oops. vote, um, you know, it's like you have like a sheet, and then it's like it's like a, a marker. Thing. Yeah, it's like a scantron thing. It's, it's in school you do it, and then you put it through the machine. So that so like and then that's, that's once it gets going, into that machine. Yeah, do you want to explain <laughs> that? Because I don't I don't know if everybody really understands what's going on there. So that 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 when they do that, that scans into. So it's on paper at that point, but then once you put it in that machine, it's going into a scanner, and and even if even if people are looking at it to double check it, I mean they're entering it then into a computer. And once once you once you cross that line, then you're in software land. I yeah. mean, that's that's software. <laughs> and, you know, I happen to be a software engineer and, you know, I know a bit about software. And once, you know, it's in there, you know, you're in the world of software. Yeah. And so the way the way to secure that, the way to make that something that that we can rely on and depend on is to make the software open source. And so this, in my opinion, needs to be one of our key demands. You need all voting machines and software to be open source and to be auditable by the public. Sure. And what that means is all the code is posted somewhere. Anyone can look at it. And so the code has to be resilient enough and secure enough that even if hackers can look at the code, they still can't break into it. And that's that's the power of, of open source, secure, well written, well done open source software. And it's really it's really the only way to have true security and to have true reliability. So I'm asking this as, as as more of like a clarifying question for people that might not you know know too much about open source software. But so if you had a, a software like this, like election based software that was open source and the the code was was there in public, if if people can see that code, can they see potentially like election results? Like where did where did that the the tally of votes? Where does that live? Mm -hmm. So the open source gets into the processing. And it, this is really the, the the machinery and and how and how it runs. So it would be, you'd be able to see the, the code of, of like the how the scanner runs and how the results come off the scanner, how they get counted, how they get tabulated. Um, right now, the way it works is these machines are purchased by from for profit companies, and and the code. I mean, it's unbelievable. You know, put it on the list of ridiculous things. This code is code is closed. It's closed source. You ridiculous. can't look at it. Yeah. And so if us. some <laughs> and if some malicious actor in the company puts in a back door where they could go in and change things, you know, then it's just sitting in there and, and maybe someone else at the company sees it, maybe they don't. If it's open source, the whole world can see it. And yeah. if there's a back door in there, you can see it. Um, in terms of the results and the in the counts, what what you would see is you would see how they're handled. When when you see, and people who who know code and who, are, who can read code would be able to see how it's handled, um, whether it's secured, whether there's potential 
for malfeasance in there. You can have, I mean, like when you go to the ATM, um, it's not open source, but you get you get an audit trail in a sense in that you get that little receipt from your ATM. Yep. So the way we could run voting is, you know, even if everything is on the touch screen, um, it, which still doesn't have to be, but if it is, um, you you can have it give you a receipt. I like you know, that. We could That's have a pretty cool idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I think some systems run that way somewhere. I, I've, I have heard of that. But That's you can have it give you a receipt. It you can, can give you a the, number. The little sticker is not good enough. The I voted sticker. <laughs> you voted. And so you can have a receipt. You can pin that to your chest if you want. Um, and it can have a number. It can have a QR code. And mm -hmm. so every voter, you could have a system where every voter can then, when they get home, they can go on their on their computer and or their phone, scan in the QR code or put in the code and have it verify their vote. Mm -hmm. Have it show all their votes. And if if every if every part of that verification is open source, is auditable, is known, then then you have a secure system there. Oh yeah, no, so that's interesting. It, it's possible. That's interesting. Yeah, no, that, that's that's not only really interesting. I never even thought about some of that stuff. That would, I think that would allow to give people confidence. But the other thing, too, is like, mm -hmm. as far as I know, like where we stand today, we can do that with the tech. Like the tech is is there that we Easy. could we could definitely do that. Yeah, I mean, you know, we do it now in other venues. I mean, the, these software systems are are good enough for the banks <laughs> and they they make sure that works in terms of their um, they're being able to to know where the money is <laughs> and they don't lose track of the money. Yeah. And so, you know, we, we need to have something along the lines of 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 getting of getting that to work for us. Yeah. 